What's up guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm trying to rush a video while the light is still out. It's uh, it's dusk, sun is gone behind the clouds, behind the mountains, and it's leaving. But I filmed a video on the unboxing of the Rode Wireless Go earlier today, and I'm super excited to try this out. I have it all charged, I have it ready to go, but I want to do a little comparison video for everybody out there because I didn't really find a good comparison video on using the a Rode Video Micro that's on right now that you guys are listening to the audio from, using uh, the Rode Wireless Go um, just as a receiver and transmitter that I actually wear on here. So if I were to wear it on here, how would that sound? And then also plugging the lavalier mic into here and getting that volume as well. So let's talk about these real quick. So we have three different options that we're gonna do. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it in my vlogging, in my interviewing, in my unboxing and all that stuff. I'm very excited that I'm not gonna be attached to um, the camera anymore. I'm shooting this on a Canon M50 with an 11 to 22 lens. And I'm excited not to have the lavalier be connected to that onto me in some form or fashion. I do have extensions for these so that I can make it go really far so that you guys will never see it. Um, I'm excited that I am be wireless so this can go here and here and this can be hidden here or this can be tucked in my back pocket, fished up through. So we're going to see what the best audio is. I will be retiring the uh, video micro, um, but I'll just kind of put it on a shelf or something. Um, the beauty with the video micro also is that it is plugged in and that's where the power comes from. So as soon as it's plugged in, it works automatically. Whereas this has to be charged, even though one charge is seven hours, it still has to be charged. So if I forget to charge it, then I'm kind of SOL, but I can always go back to this. The shotgun mic up here, the video micro, will allow for recording of everything in this area right here. So if somebody's talking to you here, here they can hear you. They can't really hear you from the back. Whereas this, it can be heard theoretically in this general area. So if I'm talking to somebody, I can face them and hopefully you guys can hear me as well as them. Um, but I also want to be able to take it off. I keep holding the wrong one, take it off. And if I can interview somebody and go this and this and this, I want to see how much noise that happens. So I'm going to kind of do this little motion we test it. So without further ado, I will be cutting this video and rocking it out, but let's do a test right now. All right, guys, this is the video micro only shotgun mic on top of the Canon M50. This is a test. This says one, two, three, four, five. What do I count to? And we're going to move back just a little bit. We're not changing our volume. We're just changing how far we are. And this is a audio test still as we get closer, closer, closer. You guys should notice a difference in volume just from the distance that it happens. There is a plane flying over right now, kind of far away, nothing too crazy. All right, let's switch it up here, guys. So we're gonna be turning on this baby. I should have turned this on before, why am I thinking? So I'm gonna turn them both on. You hold them for three seconds. One, two, three. It should sync by, its oh, bop, bop. It's working automatically. All right, I'm gonna uh, plug this in. I'm gonna plug the transmitter into here and Actually, we're gonna leave that in. And I'm gonna let this kind of dangle for a sec. Cool. Now, I haven't fully tested if this is working, so I'm just gonna kind of test this as well. So we're gonna wear the lav the uh, Rode Micro, just right here, or the uh, go Wireless Go right here. So we're wearing the Wireless Go. We're doing a test. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We're doing a test. This is literally, I just turned it on and put it on. I didn't adjust my DB or volume or anything. Hopefully nothing changes as I'm laying back, but I'm getting further away from the camera. Getting a little bit closer, nothing's changing. How is that sound? Things happening around. There's nothing else. There's a couple birds flying around. Snapping my fingers. Do you guys still hear me? Is it crazy, crazy, crazy or not? There's a trampoline jumper over there. Uh, let's try now with the lavalier mic. So we're gonna take this out. And the beauty of this is this plug and play. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. I'm gonna plug into that. Should be on this. Hopefully I'm not killing your ears. I'm so sorry if I am. I'm gonna plug this baby right in there. All right, so I do have my lavalier mic on and it's plugged away. It's plugged into this. So this is now my 
battery pack. And I'm gonna lean back. You guys should be able to hear me. Uh, nothing should be changing. The closer I go, I'm not changing. Dog's kind of barking over there, a couple birds. Let's get the snaps. I am assuming this is going to be the best sound, guys. This lavalier mic is uh, the Edifier. I can't remember what it's called. I should probably tell you guys that. This is the ETM-008 um, from Udigy. Udigy. And I love this thing, and I use this for a lot of my unboxings with an extra long cord. Now I can take this, put it in my pocket under my shirt, and you guys will never see it. So this is the third one. Moving around, let's see what happens. Basically, if somebody's talking over here, we're talking over here. Are we hearing them? Lavalier mic should just generalize this general area so that I'm talking to you no matter what. Cool. So to finish this off, I'm going to leave it just right here. Um, I do like that as I'm talking, um, as I'm talking, I am able to see this change right here, changing. I'm able to see, uh, it looks like it's not getting too hot. Um, it shows me the power, the battery power on both. It shows me a Wi-Fi connection. I don't know if it's Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or what, but it has a little Wi-Fi signal. And um, it's cool. Go, 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 go. Here's what happens when it goes into the yellow, which I'm assuming is too hot. Go, 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 go. So um, it looks like I can just talk like this and it kind of stays three quarters up, which I don't know what the DB is. I'm hoping that's around 12 or 16. I'm not sure, but that's my kind of test. So we're finishing up using just the, uh, the go. What happens if we, it's not supposed to be worn like that. What happens if we just kind of move that around? Somebody hits me. Uh, I'm excited about this guy. So uh, this was $200 on BH photo. Um, I'm sure Adorama has it. Best Buy, I don't know if I had it or not. But thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm actually going to listen to this and see what's the best. Do a little cut of it, post it up for you guys. But uh, now you guys know. Now you guys have a cool test on the Video Micro. Lavalier mic with the Go. The Go by itself. And uh, the um, thing I'm excited about is being able to vlog put this anywhere, turn my camera anywhere, and still have the same correct audio um, because with the uh, shotgun mic, um, no matter where you turn, there's birds happening right now, no matter where you turn, um, you're gonna be getting a different audio source. So this way I can turn my camera around and get the correct audio source. All right guys, it is getting dark and uh, I've come to the conclusion that this thing is awesome for vlogging. It does pick up a ton of sound, a ton of ambient sound out and about. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. If you're talking with other people, it's really, really good. But if you're vlogging and you're going in this style, like so, no matter where I go or what I do, I'm going to have the same audio and volume because it's plugged to me and I can do whatever I want. I don't have to worry about a mic up top. Um, I'm using the lav mic right now. So that's actually why you guys can hear me pretty well. Um, knowing that I think this will work fine without the lav mic. Like I said, it's gonna pull a ton of ambient. This right here is not going to, uh, the lav mic is not going to, and I think any lav mic is totally fine to be honest. It depends how sensitive your ears are. I did fiddle around with the DB settings on this. It's small, medium, or large, one, two, or three, low, medium, big, <laughs> one of those three. I have it set to, um, I wanna say the big one, uh, oh, the, all the way the lowest and that kind of controlled the ambient sound that's happening around. Then I went into my camera and adjusted the volume uh, a little bit of how much it's going in. That's actually my voice. I feel like I'm talking really low right now in a low baritone type voice, which is not really how I talk. I'm kind of like this, guys. Hey. So uh, it worked out pretty well. So I know that I can carry this, wear it on me in a pinch. I'll show you guys that right now. I'm going to try to move it, but I can kind of walk around like this in a pinch. And as I'm vlogging, I'm able to vlog this way, say I'm holding something and I'm not getting too much ambient, although I'm getting more than if I were to with the lav mic, but this is great in a vlog, Disneyland, walking around with the kids, jumping, playing, this thing's gonna be stuck to me, which is nice. But if I have the opportunity to throw this on and throw this in my pocket, um, and nobody's gonna see me throughout the day and kind of keep that hidden. Um, it does create a lower profile here rather than the large road shooting through, but this way I can still record just me. So if I'm in a noisy environment, a conference, WPPI or something, this might be a better option just to get my voice as I show everything around and then walk up 
and, uh, and kind of play with this a little bit on this aspect. And then kind of be like, hey guys, look at my backyard. Look how sweet this backyard is. Look, it's getting dark. People are talking and go back into vlogging status like so. Able to drop this down, walk away and keep the same audio uh, with a wireless lav mic. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys in some sort of decision making. I highly recommend this. I think this is super cool. I think the technology is just going to get better from here on out. But for 200 bucks, a wireless bank or a wireless lav mic or a, 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 a mic that is wireless that actually has a mic inside of it, uh, I think that's cool. They didn't have to do that, but they did it and that's freaking awesome. I would have just been happy with this lav mic in and rocking it out. But it's it. Sun's gone. I'm gone. Have a good night. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.